Hi. Um, there's another way to say this, but I'm graduating. In just a few weeks, I'm going to be, or days, depending on when this video is released, I'm going to be graduating from the University of Florida. After five years, a long journey, we're finally here. And I wanted to take this time right now to kind of just talk about that, kind of reflect on where I've been, how I got here, and what graduation means to me, and what it means going forward personally and for the stream as well. Uh, I feel like for some people, graduation is just a thing, you know, yay, I graduated, but like for me, it, it means a lot more. Um, now I'm not gonna sit here and act like and act like that my life is the hardest life ever because it's obviously not but I'm also not gonna sit here and deny that what I've been through isn't uh, an achievement that I'm proud of I'm glad to have gotten and proud that I've gotten to this point in my life and I kind of want to reflect on that I've always said that streaming is what feels like one giant day and I still stand by that. And what I mean by that is, and streamers can relate to this, but every day with streaming just feels like one giant day in a sense that, you know, I still really never reflected on the fact that I got partnered years ago. It just kind of was like, yo, holy shit, I got partnered. And then what are you doing now? What are you doing tomorrow for stream? You want to play Fall Guys or, you know what I mean? So as streamers we tend to we i don't want to sit just lump everyone together but for me personally i tend to you know get lost in the shuffle as far as like not recognizing my achievements things that i'm i should be proud of and i kind of just move on to the next thing because that's just how things were uh in high school and years before that so i thought it was appropriate given the this uh, achievement that I'm about to embark on in a few weeks or days as I said to just reflect and talk about what that means to me this might be a long video I don't know it's not an elephant in the room but uh <laughs> I think it's no secret that I have ADHD. Um, ADHD is something that I was diagnosed with when I was five. And I mean, diagnosed, diagnosed. I'm not talking about just looking at a TikTok and being like, oh yeah, I get distracted sometimes. I mean, I was actually diagnosed with ADHD at the age of five and I've been medicated ever since. Growing up, I mean, ADHD is always gonna be a struggle, I feel like for me, but growing up, it was a lot about my impulses you know, blurting out, doing impulsive things, getting in trouble for it. The common ADHD experience, I assume. And then when I got to high school at Tampa Prep, it became not just about controlling those impulses and learning from those mistakes. It became, well, a whole new struggle kind of appeared. I started to, to realize that I was a slow test taker and I'd study for these tests and I'd do really good on them. And then when I would come to take the test, I, like I said, I would do really good on them, but I wouldn't finish them in time. I'd run out of time every single time. And, and as a result, I would either sometimes fail the test or quiz, or I wouldn't get as good of a grade as I would have if I completed it. And this led to kind of like a volcano almost erupting between me and the, the teachers there in high school. And this was ninth grade. And anyway, it led to a point where I was lashing out, you know, misbehaving, upset because I wasn't getting the time I was, I should have been getting. And I was never the most popular in middle school or high school. I was usually the like sixth man, meaning like, Oh, yeah, you can invite Anthony. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah, you can invite him. Not like in the circle, but just outside of it. But yeah, bring him along. But then December 2014 rolled around and I was doing this biology exam and I didn't complete half of it in time. 
when the clock was up, when the time was out. And I panicked because it counted so much for my grade. I shoved the Scantron in my pocket and ran down the stairs when the teachers weren't looking. And I flushed the test down the toilet. Impulsive move, but it led to a conversation where I was told that I either needed to change my ways or to leave. And I didn't want to leave. I was at a, I had a lot of financial aid getting into the school I was in at Tampa Prep, um, which is a very high end school. And I didn't want to lose the, the privilege of being there um, and the opportunity of being there to go to waste. And I knew I wasn't getting anywhere with the teachers. So I had to think about it. I was 14, 15 at the time. I mean, and I, I had to make this monumental kind of serious decision. And then the episode happened. Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 10. At least I think that's what the episode number is. Anyway, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. But the episode changed my life. There was a scene, and I would play it, but I don't want to get copyright and struck or whatever the hell. But there's a scene where Rick, main character, and the group were starving. You know, low on food, low on water. They just lost people in their group previously, multiple people. The morale was low. They were, it, it was one of their lowest points. And they were at, they were hiding out in some barn, all that shit. And during a storm and Rick gave the speech to his, to his, you know, his group. And, and it was about how when he was a kid, he asked his grandfather once if he ever killed any Germans in the war. And his grandfather never never replied. And then he said it was grown-up stuff. So then Rick asked his grandfather if the Germans ever tried to kill him. And his grandfather got real quiet. And then his grandfather said every day he woke up and told himself, rest in peace, now get up and go to war. And then after a few years of pretending he was dead, he made it out alive. And then Rick goes, and that's the trick of it, I think. We do what we need to do, and then we get to live. And when I saw that at the age of 14 or 15, it's, it's, it struck me in a way where I knew what I had to do, and I, and I didn't look back. I changed. I went from like that six man to I lost just about every friend I had because I went quiet. I put my head down. I knew I wasn't going to get any more teachers. So I knew that I had to not only just learn the material, I had to master it in order to even complete these tests or quizzes. And that's what I did for four years. Never had a girlfriend. Never went out on a date. But not every friend left. I had Lucas. He's like my brother. And you guys know him from our streams. And it was a fight with the administration for four years straight. One night. In December 2016. I wrote a rap. I used to write lyrics and make albums and rap when I was in high school because I couldn't talk and lash out, so I put all my frustrations out into lyrics. But I wrote this one song that invoked three girls' names. Three girls' names. And I didn't mean anything by it. I was listening to like a scary beat, like a Halloween beat on YouTube and wrote to it. And But I had basically made fun of the girls in the speech in, in the in the rap and because i was playing off the character of like friday the 13th the the lyrics were misinterpreted thinking that i was like gonna do something dangerous or some whatever the hell and people didn't like when i posted that rap that i made fun of girls and whatever the heck and which is obviously looking back valid but then the, the rap to keep this ongoing Next day, I was pulled out of class. 
and my mom was in the back room with the administrators and the situation, the report was exactly what the administration needed to justify punishments against, against me for all the lashing out I did years ago. So they sent me to three doctors, eight months of forced counseling, and I was watched over my, I had to look over my shoulder every single day for the remainder of high school. But I kept telling myself, it won't always be like this. There's gotta be something after. We do what we need to do, and then we get to live. It's corny, but it got me through. And Lucas got me through. And I got to UF, University of Florida, and I thought I was starting over. I had won, I had overcome everything in high school. I even made amends with the faculty at the very end. It was, it really felt like a new beginning. And that's what they dream up college to be. They dream college up to be, and they tell you, you know, college advisors in high school that college is like this paradise, this new beginning, you know, friends, you know, independency. And I got here and I expected all that almost to be handed it. And it wasn't that at all. I was just at my desk again doing homework, except this time my best friend Lucas wasn't there. I was just alone in this room, this very room I'm recording from right now. And it took me a while to come to terms with that. I felt lost. I was staying up. I'd never gone past midnight usually when I was going to bed in high school and now when I got to college I was I went from barely staying up past midnight to being up 24 hours straight th at least three times a week I just couldn't sleep I was in shock I was traumatized I was I couldn't believe that I had fought so hard and this was the reward and then one night I thought to myself, you know, maybe we just change it up for a night. Maybe I just do something different besides, you know, eat, sleep, do homework, and go to bed and rinse and repeat. And so I went live on my PS4 on Twitch. And obviously now here we are. And ever since then, Streaming has become one of the greatest decisions I've ever made. Definitely by accident. I never meant to have the career that I have, but I'm glad I have it. But the reason I'm so glad I have it is because it was worth it. There was something after. I get to do, every night I go live, I get to be myself. Something I didn't get to do in high school. I didn't get to be myself. I was locked. I was constrained. I, I was restrained I, or whatever the hell the word is. <laughs> Sorry, if, I know this is going to be a long video. I'm just rambling. <sighs> Every time I get to go live now, I get to be myself. And that's something I didn't get to do years ago. And I'm so grateful that I have the career that I have. Because it was meant to be. Everything I'd fought for was worth it when I found this career. And you know, and along the way, I also met a girl who I fell in love with didn't work out and I was lost again for a bit lost again this year but I kept telling myself we do what we need to do 
and then we get to live. That's why I came back this year. Because there has to be something after, again. And I know I haven't streamed much this year. I streamed literally 40% of what I streamed last year. I've, I streamed 1,600 hours, 1,600 hours last year. This year I've streamed not even 800 yet because I doubled up on classes. And I knew that was the risk going in. And as you saw from the SOA video I made, But going into the next year, I just, uh, I hope I look back at this video and think that I'm over and, and see that I'm over dramatic, too stressed. And hopefully when I look back at this, I realize that there was nothing to worry about, that it was worth it. And I promise that after I graduate, when I come back from my trip with my family, I'm going to give this thing my fucking all. Because I love this job. I love streaming. I love the people that I work with. I love the support that I get from my community. I appreciate this community so much. Um, and all I want to do in return is be the best streamer that I can be. I just want to have a silly goose time. That's all I ever wanted. That's why I started streaming. And obviously this year has been a bit shaky. And getting those silly goose times in. But I can't thank this community enough and the people around me for sticking through and by my side the entire way. I, from the bottom of my heart, I cannot thank you guys enough. From other streamers, if they took off the amount of time the way I did this year... Their careers might have tanked. Now, obviously, now, granted, I have regressed a little bit this year, you know. But that's what happens when you don't stream as much. Especially half the hours. But the core community, the core base of this channel, you guys have been there the entire time. Every step of the way. And I can't thank you guys enough for, stay, for sticking by and supporting me and being understanding of Every, time, every night I've had to call it off because of anxiety or homework or whatever the hell it may be. It, it means the world. I know I put a lot of pressure on myself, but it's only because I want to do good. I am a loudmouth, impulsive, still, chaotic, but also good hearted person. And everything I've done with this channel is always meant for the good. It's always had the best intentions. I've obviously, have, and I've made mistakes along the way. I've hurt people along the way. And to those people, I hope you know that I'm sorry. But for the great, great, great majority of my streaming career, it has been nothing but a pleasure to do what I get to do. And I can't wait for what comes after. I can't wait to start over again. For real this time. This is a monumental part of my life that's ending and it, it, to just let it go by without any reflection it would be nonsense. So that's why I make this video. That's why I wanted to record this. I'm sorry it's over probably 20 minutes long, but... Also, I want to... I want to get... Say this. I want to say this as well. But... I'm also very young. To have the position in the platform that I have. Still very young. I've had this platform... You know... My, the week I started streaming, my very first stream was August like 15th or something like that of 2019. And I was still 19 at the time. I was turning 20 in like two weeks, but now I'm 24 years old. And along the way, I've been able to 
learn and adapt to the to the growth that I've had and learn from so many good people in this industry. I, I could take another six minutes just listing those people, but you know exactly who you are. Um, I, I've been, I've had the great privilege. I have had the great privilege. Let's edit that one out. I have had the great privilege to learn from some of the best streamers that are on this platform. Some of the best good hearted people as well, um, who are, are all older than me is what I'm saying, who have more established and settled down lives and who have more experience with dealing with things that I'm already going through. And I am so grateful that I've been able to learn from these people and and take their advice and bring it into the stream, into this channel and into my own life as I navigate this college experience and the growth that I've had over the past four years from the bottom of my heart. Graduation, you know, I, I thought this year would be more about making the most of the last year of my childhood, but I guess that's part of growing up, you know? Not everything turns out the way it's supposed to. Doesn't mean it's always bad or it's always good, but some things don't just go as planned, and that's a part of growing up and accepting that. And obviously this year has been nothing short of off the rails and nothing's gone as planned internet issues depression you know busyness homework whatever it may be anxiety but I'm trying and I always will continue to try and I promise that after I graduate and it, this has always been the case but everything I do going forward I want it to be for the betterment of this stream and the betterment of my mental health. Obviously my mental health coming first. But I'm very excited to just, you know, not wake up and have to think about homework. I want to wake up and think, what am I streaming tonight? Not, can I stream tonight? You know, I'm tired of the missed opportunities, the, the days I've had to miss because of homework or some other bullshit. I just can't wait to just stream <sighs> I'm very lucky to have this platform and I thank you guys again I wish I had time to make a comp I wish I had time to make another short movie but I'm gonna graduate here soon go on a vacation with my family and we're gonna come back and we're gonna start over and this is just the beginning and I hope it is too I don't mean, I know it sounds a bit cliche, but I really do think this is just the beginning. There's a whole world out there. There's, a, there's so many things to do and... I just, I'm just, I'm just excited. I'm still going to be the same impulsive person, chaotic, probably the rest of my life. And I'm still going to make mistakes. But as I get older, I'm just going to keep learning, keep being me. And keep the same intentions I've always had, which is to bring a silly goose time to myself and the people that stop by this stream every single time I press live. What a job, man. Like I said, I've, I've been telling myself there's got to be something after. And there is. And I'm very happy about that. All right. That's all I can think of at this moment. Again, I hope I look back at this and it was worth it. And I'm going to make sure that here on out, 
I do everything that I can to make sure that it is. Thank you again so much for you guys' support this year and for the past four years. I'm going to go graduate now. Ampile, see you soon.